All right, I'm in Coos Bay in uh, Oregon. I just thought we'd take a look at the uh, this boat over here called the Welcome I'm at the Coos Bay History Museum. And I'm not going inside. We're just sort of poking around, having a coffee out here. Okay, this is the Welcome, built 1919. Worked out of Coos Bay, hauling all kinds of stuff, uh, working, uh, hauling jugs of milk to the creameries and carrying passengers and stuff. And then finally, as a log tow boat. What we're looking at is the general shape of that boat. Look how it's hogged, especially towards the stern. It's flattened right out. We'll take a closer look at some of the stuff that's messed up on it. Check out the stem repair here. You can see that joint right there with the stop water. It's down here. It takes a bit of a ganky turn. There was another stop water. Yet another stop water right there more down the way. Bow sheathed in iron and then it looks like ice sheathing all the way around. So I guess uh, to deal with ice in the in the river here. You can see it's all old square barge nails here. Galvanized nails. So those ones that one's played out. Let's see. But, uh, I find kind of interesting is when you look at some of these other ones, just like how good a shape they're in. Given that everything else around them is gone, there's tons of life left in these things. Small. I'm not going to try. It's probably about nine inches long or something like that. When we use galvanized fasteners and wooden boats, we usually generally give them like a 30 year lifespan. If everything is uh, well taken care of. This thing is hooped. You can see it's pretty badly hogged towards the back end. You can see the original boat was just a single screw engine, which they replaced at some point. You can see the old shaft that's been corked up here. And then they've added this big strut and um, twin screws and then these little things poking down here I'm assuming those were twin rudders that used to be on here as well I've never seen that before not an old fish boat type uh, or work boat type instruction so that's rather interesting I don't know about this bit of wood that's all on this strut coming down the center the center post here that's kind of Curious, I've never seen that kind of thing before. And uh, up top, there's a couple holes here, which I assume is just giving you access to that rudder hardware on the inside. Classic uh, built up com compass sterns. So they call compass timbers, which means they're all sort of bread and butter stacks of, of uh, futtocks to make up the stern. As opposed to like there's barrel type stave sterns, which is in Canada, you see those sometimes as well. And even those bits look like they've been worked over a few times. Not sure how much of that is cosmetic and how much of that is um, functional. I'd say functional, because none of this looks like it's been particularly cosmetically preserved. And this really crap looking plywood deck house has been added to it. There's a plank that's been replaced. Um, see the butt joint here. And this is bad. One plank over, one down, another butt joint. That's not good. But this butt joint went up two frames over. And there's another one that's considered okay. Two frames over, down. That's another one that's considered okay. Two frames over and down, another one that's considered okay. But you can see how. You forward then we get into stuff you're definitely not supposed to do. Look at this, we got one, two, three planks all in a row. That's bad. And then you come two frames forward. I guess it's only one plank there. But 
still too, too many faster. This thing is played out.